one a lot for Christmas. makeup look for the entire month of december i am going to be doing red makeup looks all in title who said black girls can't wear red because i remember red lipstick was the first color lipstick i ever went to try for because i always thought red lipstick was so pretty and everyone discouraged me because red lipstick dark skin girls you know that whole like stereotype or whatever yeah i wouldn't listen to nobody but um since Christmas is like all about red lips in my book anyway. I thought I'd just do a bunch of videos with red lips. So I'm gonna have like three videos for this month with different red lip looks. So hopefully you stick around for that and if you want to keep updated on my channel just, just be sure to click the subscribe button down below and thumbs up this video. I just did like a really like goldish eye. I wanted to keep it real simple and really on the classic side of Christmas so that's what I did for my first look you want to see how I got it just keep on watching so hey guys I'm eating cheese by the way eating cheese I'm eating sweet fish and I have some potato chips right here and I have some water so yeah I'm gonna be eating all of those meanwhile I do this video because I'm pretty hungry so starting my first Christmas look off I already did my eyebrows and I primed my face, so I'm going to do my eyelids first. So as usual, I'm going to start off using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee and I'm just put this all over my lid. After I conceal my eyes, I'm going to use my Modern Fashion Palette and I'm going to set my eyelids. Oh, and I'm going to use this light shade right here. So now for our colors, I'm going to be using this Morphe shade in the color Flame, which is this pretty orange. And I'm going to use a really fluffy brush. I'm going to start from my outer corner going in very lightly. And to build this color up, to where I want it. I'm gonna continue starting from the outer crease and then just like blending it in. This look is actually pretty simple. The key to this look honestly is blending. Like I can't stress that enough because I've tried this look three times and it's like so easy because I only use like three colors for my like, three, four colors. But it just wasn't coming out right because I wasn't blending enough and like yesterday I really took my time and I really 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 blended and it came out good enough where I felt confident enough to film it. I guess anytime you make like a really big color jump I guess that's like when blending is needed most because you don't want it to just look crazy. For this color I was going to use my Master Mario palette but every time I tried it it just wasn't working. For me, I guess it just wasn't blending out well enough. So instead of that, I'm going to use what I use to contour now, which is this Kiss Professionals eyeshadow. And this is in the color Ruben, Bow Ruben. And I'm just going to put this in my crease using the brush from Anastasia. Starting from the outer corner and just blending it in. Oh, you know what I should really do for this part? Zoom in! So before I go on to my lid color, I'm going to put on Hollywood from my Anastasia Master Mario palette and I'm going to put that onto my brow bone. So I'm going to pick up this shade right here called Paris and I'm going to put that color mainly in the center of my lid. And I'm also using a wet brush to do this. And I'm going to take it up a little bit above the crease so the gold kind of blends in with my crease color. So going back with the brown shade that I used in my crease, I'm going to put it on the outer edges. I'm just going to blend it into the gold at the outer edges. 
crease and then in the inner tear not the tear duct but the inner lid and I'm gonna use this side of the brush and I'm just gonna blend it And now that that's all blended, I'm going to top off the center again a little bit with the color palette just to get that brightness back up there and it's not just too dark. Back to Hollywood that I put on my brow, I'm going to use that in my inner tear duct and I'm also going to put a little bit on top of my center eyelid. Actually, I think it would be a lot better if I just used the color 5th Ab and put that on my lid. And maybe in my tear duct too, if I decide I like it better. Okay, so I'm going to come back to my eyes a little bit later and now I'm going to just do the rest of my face. I'm going to put some mascara on my upper lashes and I'm going to be using this Tarte Tarteiste mascara I, re I really i just started using this mascara yesterday and i really do like it if you can see it makes my eyelashes like so thick and so nice and it gets like all the lashes like i think there's it's so such a good mascara i haven't been wearing foundation i'm not gonna put foundation on in this video because i want to be on like what i usually do you know i want it to be cute so <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> so I'm just gonna do my regular routine without my foundation and show you guys now I'm gonna start off with my LA girl concealer in the color chestnut and I'm just gonna highlight my face I know you guys see me moving my sponge in upwards motion. Maybe you don't even notice. I don't know. But lately, I've been like doing all my makeup in like upward motions, and I feel like one that would be better for my skin than like dragging it down. And also, my makeup comes out way, way better every time I do that. So I just try to apply everything in like upwards motion. So I'm thinking about doing this thing where at the beginning of each video, I put like a makeup tip. Makeup. makeup I feel like that would be super useful and I think it would be like a cute touch to my videos like each one would have its own like makeup tip but I have to like have a bunch of makeup tips for that to work but I feel like I know a few makeup tips that I can share and I'm sure as I go along I'll learn more and not only makeup I can also do like skincare or anything really but I feel like I'm gonna mostly do skincare and and makeup but only on my makeup tutorials though I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro foundation and I'm just gonna contour I recently went back to how I used to contour in like a couple of years ago and I feel like this just fits me better than how I was contouring like recently I was literally like, just going down on Instagram and like I saw a video of me I was like, oh, I was so cute in that point in time. <laughs> and I was like, what did I even do differently? And I thought about the way I used to contour. And I was like, I changed the way I used to contour a little bit. So maybe I should like try to do this way again. So now I'm going to set my face with the same powder that I used to set my eyelids. I'm going to use the same brown crease shade that I used earlier to set my contour. So I'm just going to like set my face. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I've been using this lately and it's pretty good so I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back to it. My makeup stays on longer and better than ever. And while that's going, I'm going to line my lip with my sheet pencil in dark chocolate. And now I'm going to... Uh, now I'm going to go back to my under eyes and I'm going to pick up the color Flame again. And I'm going to put it all along my bottom line. 
Okay, so before I move on to my next shade under my eye, I'm gonna line my lower waterline with this Kiss Professionals Luxury Eye Crayon. And this is in the color Pearl Ivory. And then I'm gonna use the brown shade and I'm gonna blend that under my lower waterline using this small brush. And I'm just gonna reapply Fifth Avenue in my tear duct since it kind of came off. Glory, glory, glory. Okay, from here I'm gonna apply my blush and my highlight and then I'm gonna put on my red lip. So using my usual, my blush neutrals palette, I'm gonna use this shade right here on my cheeks. So now for my red lip, I'm going to be using the Ruby Kisses Forever Matte um, Liquid Lipstick in the color Wildfire. One thing that I have to say about these liquid lipsticks since buying them, the only thing that's bad actually is the packaging. The words are already rubbing off and I've had it like probably like a couple weeks, so that sucks. But the product overall itself, I still think is pretty good. I'm just creating an ombre using my shoe pencil and this ColourPop pencil in Ellery. 